acryl skin doesn't it looks like normal almost doesn't it so this was just like what you said acryl skin with normal skin but in the stratum corneum there were pigmented hyphae good there they okay, are Tinea nigra. Tinea nigra, which is dematiaceous pigmented fungi. Like it depends on where you're in the world. Exophiella, I think where Nikiae is one of the main ones. But there's, and I'm sure that name will, if you're watching this on YouTube a few years from now, someone will have renamed it by then probably. Um, but yeah, the pigmented fungal hyphae in the corneum. I've only rarely encountered this, even though I used to live in a relatively hot, humid climate, which is where it's more common. Um, I, I think it's a fascinating disease. Uh, same kind of fungi that basically cause like chromoblastomycosis, pheohyphomycosis, which is basically an invasive infection by these types of fungi. But this can, you know, it can mimic melanoma clinically because it can be an acryl pigmented patch that's kind of growing relatively quickly. And so that prompts concern. But I feel like the few cases I've seen were just like this. They had essentially no inflammation. The only, and you could argue the corneum's a little thick, but you know, it's acryl skin. The, the corneum is in general pretty thick there. So I feel like on acryl skin, I always try to think of this because it can be real easy to miss from lower power if you don't go down and look. And here's one other picture just to give you a close-up view of what the hyphae look like. They're the nice tubular. You can see they're pale in the middle. Basically, they look like dermatophyte hyphae. Just turn them brown and you've got tinea nigra, okay?